Hi, this is Things That Matter. I'm Adam White. I'm Mitch McCartney. I'm Lisa Cramey. And this is our 100th episode. Is that real? And yeah, it's I mean, it's that's real. A, that's ridiculous. It's the 100th episode unspectacular. Right. And uh, Mitch had this great idea that we should video the podcast I don't know for if it's this. That's a great idea. Um, so you can see how ugly we actually are. Or how much Adam and I look alike. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we could be brothers, you know? Um, we are brothers. They are brothers, actually. I could be the attractive yeah. brother, and then Mitch could be the other brother. I am the other <laughs> brother. That's I'm right. not even touching that. Plus, these guys think we should look at a yellow smiley face above the camera, and I think we ought to look right at you, right See, there. There are no what production do you think? secrets on this can show we... <laughs> because Lisa always tells you everything we talk about ahead of time. Well, I want to hear that. Maybe you can post that on our Facebook page. Do you like us looking right at you or up at the smiley face? Okay, Lisa's you? gonna Lisa's Smiley gonna look face. right at you and freak you out there at home, okay. and Adam and I are going to just try and look in your general direction. Is that okay? I have to be honest. I don't feel like this is going very well. No, I, no. I, I think we've got a lot of things kind of going against us. One being Lisa's honesty, but um, this whole day has been kind of weird. Right. Um, I, I, honestly, what what happened today is um, I, for whatever reason, I had a conversation with Mitch last night that made me think that we were doing this in Omaha. So I got up and I came in and had a little meeting at the Lutheran Center. And I'm like, I got to go to Omaha. And uh, the, my seminary intern wanted to come. And we ended up like taking this entourage <laughs> to <laughs> Omaha for no particular reason to the Senate office. And we get there and we walk into the Senate office, you know, ready to do this taping of the 100th Things That Matter episode. And we walk in and like everybody in the Senate's office like, why are you here? They say that to me every day when I walk in. Yeah, so that's, like, that's a different, you know, I'm and used I said, to it. well, we are here to, like, uh, record the 100th episode of Things That Matter. And they're like, oh, well, uh, Mitch and Lisa aren't here because they went to Lincoln. Yes, we did. To record the, mm -hmm. the 100th episode of yes. Things That Matter. We so, did. uh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of one of those yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. went different directions. So we we're actually doing this about could, an We could have hour. been at a rest area on I-80, though. Yeah, that we're do, doing this about an hour later than we expected yeah. to. And, yeah. you know, um, yeah. mm -hmm. I know Lisa's kind of in crisis mode because she actually had real work to do today. And now we've... <laughs> Uh, I did. Yeah, so. I'm looking at the yellow smiley face, though, so it's making me feel better. Sorry, I'm giving up on the camera. The yellow <laughs> smiley face is helping me through. I'm glad you feel better. <laughs> You know, the other problem is, is that we had all these great plans for a guest. I mean, we, we played dress up, we did the video and everything, and we were going to have Bishop Brian Moss on the show. Right, right. Right now, he is in a jet plane over the Atlantic Ocean again. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. work. Plus, he can dress up really well. He's got, like, cool bishop stuff like purple shirts and big crosses mm -hmm. and puts it in his pocket and stuff. So he could have dressed this place up nicely. Yeah. Well, I, I really want to commend you, especially on your dress. I mean, Thank you. I mean, not, it's not a dress. Obviously. No, it's, it's not um, a dress. It's a leisure suit. Yeah, yeah it's um, half. It's, it's, the it's, top two thirds of leisure suit. It's 1970 smart is what it, it is. It is. I actually, what's really scary is that I picked this out for my dad at Bob's Clothing in Friend, Nebraska. Wow. And I thought wow. it was a good idea. You know, yeah, and I, a potential <laughs> sponsor of the show. Yeah. <laughs> again, you know, and I, and I actually like the way you dress, but, but you know, uh, again, it looks like we crossed wires here because Mitch dressed well. I mean, like, he, he, he looks. Did. He did. I just, I would, I, got I, his I suit was going to wear a tux, but I can't fit in it anymore. Yeah, I mean, and I, you're wearing a leisure, a leisure suit. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, we really didn't no. think this all through. So no. it just kind of feels haphazard. The only thing that actually kind of showed up that we were expecting was the camera how is this different than any other episode of things that matter we've done for the past three years it's actually uh more dysfunctional is it really yeah mm. slightly slightly really but, oh, yeah i mean we, we've never gone to the wrong places before we have usually actually had somebody that showed up to be interviewed usually <laughs> not all the time yeah maybe and, we pulled them off the street maybe we've pulled yeah, them off the street but literally again like this is like a total things that matter fail and, and here i am i mean like <laughs> My voice is jacked up, right? Yeah, this it, is not how I, I sound. Yeah, it sounds like you've been smoking cigars. You know, I, I have not. I've not been smoking cigars. I have a, a really nasty cold. We know why I'm a little his sleep throat is gravelly. I have a cold. We know why his throat is gravelly. I have a cold. He was at the Justin Timberlake concert last night. That is true. He was yelling and screaming like a high school girl. But I did not yell or scream because I already had a cold and I wanted to preserve my oh. voice. JT. For the 100th episode oh, of Things That Matter. I mean, I knew I was going to be doing this today, so, you know, I was careful with my voice. I've got a <laughs> wife. I'm going to be in Gettysburg on Valentine's Day. She wanted to go. Nice guy. <laughs> 
You are a nice guy. That's a good Valentine's Day gift. It, it is. We had a great time. JT. All right, we'll be right back with more things that matter. on things that matter and as you already know we do not have a guest on the 100th episode of things no, that matter no. we, we have no guest uh, so um as a producer once again yeah so here we are with no one to talk to so i'm gonna talk to these two i'm gonna talk to mitch and lisa and here's That'll what we're go gonna do really well. i'm gonna interview you guys <laughs> all right oh, i'm gonna interview is... you <laughs> okay here's here's what i want to lead with right um if if brian moss was not on a plane over the atlantic ocean right now yes. coming back from tanzania right uh, what would you have asked him? What are those things that we need to ask the bishop of, of, of the ELCA in Nebraska, the Nebraska Synod? Um, what, what are the questions we needed to ask him? Go. Well, my first question would have been, where does he get his argyle? Because I've, you know, it, his argyle is always so much brighter and better than my argyle. I would have asked him that. All right. Um, would you have asked him any questions of significance? Oh, you, the, the, yeah, that actually any, like matter. The, the, theological the, the, significance. Yeah, or I mean, you know, like 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 uh, like um, questions about the church and where the church is headed and what we're excited about. I, you know, I was kind of thinking along those lines. Do you have any questions like that? Any questions like that? Like that? You know, those kinds of questions. I probably would have asked him what his time was like in Tanzania because he did. That's why he's flying back. Right. He's yep. um, flying back from Tanzania, and I think he's he's flying back from. I mean, is he coming back because things in Tanzania aren't great, so he had to get out of there? Was I, that, was, I was think he's it? been there a long time, <laughs> and we're just missing him, and we're glad he's coming back. But um, yeah, I would ask him what what were the top ten things from Tanzania? The okay, top ten things mm -hmm. from Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Nice alliteration, by the way. Thank you. I didn't yeah. even mean to do that. It yeah. just comes out when I look at the yellow smiley face. Right. Top okay. 10 things from mm -hmm. Tanzania. That's a good question, Mitch. That is a good did, question. Did you, did you have something on par better, with it's that? It's better I mean, than the Argyle question. It is. You know, I prob I would probably ask Bishop, because um, he and I have talked about this a little bit. Um, I, I think um, one of my passions is, in terms of the future of the church, Right. is how we in really truly engage young adults um, in a way that doesn't just replicate the mistakes of the past in the church sure sure um because this generation seems to be so different and they seem to be so tied around causes and the church has many causes in it but not but but that's not all of what church is right right and so how do we communicate that to them and how do we how do we take what we can learn from them to make the church sustainable yeah, in yeah. the future and, and and you know sometimes we end up talking about that here because you know uh when you look at at the things the church is doing, why is it the church doing it? You know, and how is it distinct that this is a thing we ought to do as Christians? Not not over and against other agencies, but um, what makes something a uniquely Christian action? You know, right. what what about our faith undergirds us to do certain kinds of work? And I think I think that's a conversation that we need to have that sometimes we fail to be clear about. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's interesting. We don't need a bishop to ask that question, though. I mean, we could ask that to each other. We could ask that to folks out there. Uh, that might be even a, a great thing to do. So you're saying we don't need a bishop? We do. Bishop, you did not hear oh, from wow. me. Adam said that. It was not me. It was a me. question. It was a question. <laughs> it was on you, Adam. It's a question. I'm just saying that I think that's a good question to ask anywhere. Yeah, and I mean, um, certainly you want to hear multiple voices on that. And, you know, I, I think Bishop Moss is really worked to, 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 to cultivate an environment where there are multiple multiple voices being heard, and, uh, and, I, and I know that's something he's into, right? So mm -hmm. um, so, so, so at, at, at its best, oftentimes when you ask a bishop a question, he's not just, or she's not just speaking their own mind, but um, are, are also, also listeners in those mm -hmm. conversations. I think that's true, yeah, fair enough. All right. I think another question I'd probably would have asked the bishop is, you know, we talked about in our opening segment about how we did this all day. I mean, we did these <laughs> crossing paths. Um, things didn't click right. Things didn't seem to be quite right. The whole morning really was in turmoil. Well, we live in a world of turmoil right now. Yeah, things go in all kinds of different directions. Things go in all sorts of different directions. So how is it that the, where is the church in the midst of that? 
I mean, where, how do, what is the church's role to try and help sort that out? And, and, or can it? Right. And, and how do we as people of faith come to under, come to understand that the church is a safe place to go where we don't have to have the fears and anxieties of the world that seem to feed the turmoil? I mean, how, how do we deal with that? All right. Lisa, you have any more questions? Um, no, I was still thinking about Mitch's because that got me thinking about how the church is a safe place to go with all the turmoil and just bring it there to that community. And Yeah, uh, I, I push back mm -hmm. on that a little bit. I mean, sometimes the church is the source, is the source of that Absolutely. turmoil. I mean, Absolutely. and often it isn't a safe place. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're honest, sometimes it's, it, it's the least safe place for those kinds of discussions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But, um, you know, I think the reality of our lives is we would love for the church to be a safe place for those kinds of things and those kinds of discussions. Mm -hmm. But too often we actually don't experience it that mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. which is sad. Right. So then uh, maybe a good follow up question for the bishop. Bishop, I hope you know you're coming back to lots of questions, <laughs> but a good follow up question is how can we provide leadership then for that change? What what can what can I do? What can you do? What can you do, Mitch, about mm -hmm. making that change? And and what can the folks out there who are watching this do about making that change to help the church be a safe place to bring questions to bring um, issues? You know, the bishop has a blog at Road to Antioch dot com. What we ought to do is we ought to take all these questions we've been asking in this segment and put them on things that matter letterhead say questions that matter <laughs> and have it waiting for him on his desk tomorrow morning. yeah but he'd love that right i mean that's a great thing to do when you're like you let him jet lag he right. could write that yeah in, yeah, right. yeah his convenience he right. could then when he get when he could write responses on his blog absolutely and it's the way we want to welcome him back yeah with hey, work hey here's some <laughs> questions what color are your socks that's a good They're question argyle. for him. <laughs> All right, all right. Seriously, anyone that actually takes the time to watch this, if you have questions you want to ask Bishop Moss, send them to us, and uh, these two can put them on letterhead and pass them along. We'll be right back with more Things That Matter.